Hi guys, so welcome back to this channel. So today I'll be doing a total of uh, analysis on three stocks. So first one will be Intel, second one will be um, Square, and the third one will be a recap and update on C Limited. So if we look at Intel currently, right, it recently has a bit of a buying interest. Uh, in fact, it has been a downtrending stock for a while, but of late, it has went above the clouds. So it's, it's showing a signs of um, um, buying. And likewise, if you look at the, I think there's a probably some good earnings expected, hence it's uh, trending upwards. RSI has in fact went from a low of about 30, 30 something and went to a current high of 60. And if you look at the MACD as well, it's also turning upwards with the blue totally above the orange and it's still uptrending. If you ask me whether or not we uh, can take some profits, uh, the previous high was around here. As you can see, it's around uh, 50, 56. So there may be a potential fake breakout here where they lure um, breakout traders to come in. That's where they push down the stock and profit take a bit. Likewise, it can also continue going upwards to about, I would say about $59. 58, 59, somewhere here. Yeah. And there's where the second uh, profit taking will come in. Yeah. But on a whole, it's still bullish uh, and the uh, indicators are still pointing upwards. If you look at the uh, uh, Fibonacci from the uh, recent high to recent low, you can see that at 55, 75, right, there is in fact a resistance and the next resistance will be 58, followed by 60, 60. So these two are the, the quite difficult resistance to break through. And currently 55, 75 needs to be broken up first before we can see um, $58. Okay, moving on to um, Square. So um, Square has in fact been dropping quite a bit. It's quite similar to C Limited, which will be mentioned later in the video. So if you can see, right, it has downtrend quite a bit, even on the weekly charts is when below the cloud. Um, the thing about here is that the MACD has yet to turn on the weekly charts. So if he has yet to turn, right, it shows that um, they, they, it may still continue to downtrend further. So if you can see this, right, this MACD needs to turn up first. But then again, you can see that the risk is generally quite low at oversold territories of 26 here as well. So there is a potential uh, accumulation by the big boys. Um, if you look at the daily charts, we can see that, um, okay, we can just stay with the weekly charts. You can see that the, if the Fibonacci come down here, right, from a low of $31 all the way to $289, uh, there is a very strong Fibonacci support here at the 38.2% of 130. And in fact, it, 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 uh, it did a rebound at a recent low of 133. Now it's trading at about 145. So I will say that the uh, buyers may in fact be accumulating at this point in time because of the MACD will be turning up soon and the RSI is extremely uh, low positions now. Uh, then the, the, the next resistance will definitely be uh, 170, which is about the, the 20, $25 away. And that's where you can consider taking some profits. Okay, uh, next we will be talking about uh, C Limited, which I actually talked about it last in my last video. I said that uh, uh, it has been downtrending quite a bit and the buyers have yet to, to show up. And we were expecting a, a, probably a bullish uh, candle this week. And in fact, we are uh, seeing some uh, um, buying, buying interest coming back. However, the volume, the volume is still not uh, very convincing. It's still relatively low, so yeah, but uh, it has went below the cloud, and event that it, it 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 has to try to break above the cloud once again, and this MACD you can see that it needs to turn up. If it doesn't turn up, then that means buyers are not coming back. But the RSI is generally quite low. The low in 2018 was about uh 36, and now it's in fact at about 20 28 30, so it's definitely low. If you look at the daily charts. You can see that uh, there were actually uh, buyers coming back at about 170 to 180 zone. In fact, it hit a low of about uh, 167, 168. 
uh, the previous the previous support levels you can see it's somewhere here in uh, 20, uh, March 2021 last year so the low then was about 180 189 and a new low is about 167 so if, if buyers were to come back and if you can see uh, more green candles with uh, heavy volume that means that uh, the big boys are in fact accumulating and look and if you look at the macd is in fact turning up so if the um, blue line can continue to stay above the orange line then there will be a a, a, a good news uh, for this uh, stock and if you were to do the Fibonacci as to where is the next potential resistance, it is actually quite near. So you just have to do the Fibonacci down and you can see that uh, the next resistance will be somewhere about 216, which is just a couple of dollars away. 216 followed by 246, but we'll see whether you can uh, uh, break above this 216 first and see how it goes. Okay, so this is just a short analysis on the three stocks that I did, which was uh, Intel, Square, and C Limited. So for any of you guys, if you have any uh, requests or any particular stocks or anything, feel free to just comment down in the comment section below. Just leave the ticker. Um, any different exchange or even cryptocurrency, feel free to just uh, let me know in the comment section. I'll be very happy to uh, do an analysis, a quick analysis on whatever uh, stocks that are available. So once again, uh, thanks. Uh, for listening to my video and I hope that you guys enjoy it. If uh, nothing else, then I'll see you guys in the next video.